What's up, my Bitter Bros? Birdie Maniac here with game picks for October 23rd, the second day of the NBA season. Well, the first day for most of the teams. Let's be realistic here. As you can see last night, the leading scorer was Van Fleet and Siakam. Rebounder, Siakam with 18. Re a sister was LeBron James and blocker was Anthony Davis McGee and Maurice Harkless. Anyway, we start today's matchup with the Bulls at the Hornets. The Bulls at the Hornets are an interesting game because they're, they're both teams that realistically have a shot for that eighth playoff seed in the East. And honestly, people may think, oh, no big deal, it's game one, it doesn't matter. But with how close some of the seedings have been lately, this one game could end up being the difference maker, say, if the Bulls finish one game ahead of the Hornets later on in the year. So it still matters, and I'm I still pretty much intrigued by it. I am currently picking the Chicago Bulls, who are favored by three and a half. I think that they will cover the matchup as well. I'm looking for Wendell Carter Jr. to be the star of the game in this one. And then you have Detroit at Indiana. Indiana is currently favored by seven and a half. I like the matchup of, I like the pairing of Young or no of them. Um, yeah, damn it. I already forgot his name. I do apologize. That is... That is very unfortunate. Um, Miles Turner. Sorry, I forgot Miles Turner. Miles Turner and Sabonis make a good duo. No Blake Griffin tonight. No Old Depot tonight. I'm still picking the Pistons in the upset here. One reason being, I think Drummond will absolutely rule the boards. And all the, and he's fresh, so I think he should get a decent chunk of minutes. I think the difference maker here. Um, surprisingly, unsurprisingly, should probably be Derrick Rose at point guard. The player I'm looking for to be the game changer here, here though, overall, definitely Sabonis for the Pacers. And then you have the Cavaliers at the Magic. I'm currently picking Orlando here, favored by 9.5. I think it should be a close game, so I'm going to pick Cavaliers to cover the 9.5 point spread. I think it would be more of a 5 point game. Um, I'm, one player I'm looking for here is Mo Bamba. How is he going to improve on from last season? The player I think is going to take over this game, though, will be... I'm going to have to go with Evan Fournier of the Magic. I think if he can get going from behind the arc, it's going to make it severely tough for the young guys at the Cavaliers to keep up offensively. And then you have the Memphis Grizzlies hosting or going to the Miami Heat. Miami Heat are interesting with Jimmy Butler in this one, but I am picking another upset here with Ja Morant and the Memphis Grizzlies over the Miami Heat. Although I think the underrated, the hidden, the star of the game, I think in this one's going to be Harrow of the Heat. Now he may not have the biggest stats tonight, but I'm looking for him to make a big impact. Miami, Miami Heat is currently six and a half, but like I said, I'm picking the upset with the Grizzlies. Then you got the Timberwolves at the Nets. Nets currently favored by three and a half. I am picking the Brooklyn Nets in this one. I think Allen's going to be a good matchup. Allen versus um, Carl Anthony Towns. This is probably going to be the most intriguing one. I'm looking for Levert and my man Dinwiddie to really shine through. I think the star of the game is going to be Levert for the Nets. And then you have probably the biggest game of the night besides Denver Portland is Boston versus Philadelphia. South Celtics versus 76 or 7:30 p.m. Eastern on ESPN, 4:30 p.m. Pacific time if you're interested in watching it. Philadelphia is currently favored by 6 and as much as I'm a fan of Boston, I think with how different their team is this year. No Al Horford, you have Enos Cantor, no Kyrie Irving, you have Kemba Walker. The only cons the only three pieces that are the same are Brown, Tatum, and Hoyt Hayward, and probably the starting four. You're going to see more minutes from Robert, or Time Ward, as many call him. Marcus Smart's going to be interesting to see. Overall, though, I think the size of the 76ers is going to pose an issue. Now, I'm not saying, as a Celtics fan, I will admit this, I'm not saying that I think the 76ers are... Like, I'm such a better team or whatever. And I'm not saying the 76ers would trounce the Celtics in the playoffs. Now, early on, especially for the Celtics, the size matchup is going to be even more challenging because you 
you might still be working on rotations, how you're going to handle the size challenges and stuff like that. So I'm still picking the 76ers. They are at home. I think Ben Simmons goes 30 games before he makes his first three. Yes, you heard me right. In the 31st game of the season, Ben Simmons will hit a three. And then in the next, well, the spread's six. I'm going to say they cover, although Celtics should keep it within ten. And then the next game you have is Washington-Dallas, which should be interesting as well. Porzingis, I believe, is healthy enough to play. I'm picking Dallas to win this one. Cover the nine-point spread. It should be a good game. Knicks, Spurs, Spurs by 11. I think this one will be interesting. Spurs are favored by 11, but I'm going to take the Spurs to win this game. But I'm going to take the Knicks to cover the spread in this one. 11 points seems large. And I think the Knicks are a lot more talented of a team than they look on paper. They got a lot of veterans there. Julius Randle, I believe, should be a nice boost to that team. And the R.J. Barrett, I think, should have a decent game as well. You have Thunder at the Jazz. Jazz currently favored by 9 here. I'm picking Utah to win, obviously, because Utah is my NBA championship team pick. Because I don't like to pick normal. I'm a crazy motherfucker. And you got the Nuggets at the Trailblazers. Nuggets currently favored by 1, 10 p.m. Eastern on ESPN, 7 p.m. Pacific time. This game is very, very interesting here. Whiteside, one of the bigger rebounding centers versus Jokic, one of the more agile passing, ha pass happy centers. And then you got Jamal Murray, who is pretty a good shooter, good defensive player. He's an all around, like, He's a very, very solid player all around. Then you have an absolute light-out shooter with Damian Lillard. It's a definitely good matchup all the way around. Nuggets are favored by one. I am currently picking the Nuggets to win this game. And I think the key player here is going to be Michael Porter Jr. making his debut for the Nuggets. And then you have the Kings at the Suns. Kings favored by one and a half here. I'm picking the Phoenix Suns at home because I think DeAndre Ayton is going to have a big game. If you don't agree with me, you know what? Let me know in the comment section down below. Who do you think's gonna win? Let me know why, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.